I moved all my gear out of deep storage because I had this big space. I have like a, a mobile recording studio that I used to use. Matter of fact, you're sitting on the, uh, no, that's just an amp. Yeah. I've collected it all here now to reassess. I'm gonna be 50 years old, man. <laughs> I'm at the crossroads. I gotta figure some shit out. What got you into painting? I used uh, some drawings I had done as a kind of trying to come up with this, a catalyst to write music that I had to write for this Pixies kind of comeback record. I became bored with just going to the pub. This is a little town in Wales. And then, then I just started, it kind of got the bug again and started painting all night, you know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, okay, this is what I really love. So now when I'm not on tour, I try to come here and paint when I can. I got me so down, I got me a headache. The song that we were asking you to play today is uh, Headache. In my opinion, one of the greatest pop songs ever written. Um, <clears throat> Thanks. You're welcome. It was sort of the tail end of the big budgets on, uh, if you were had an arrangement with a, a larger record company, and we were at a very nice recording studio owned by Dave Stewart. And, you know, you'd look out the window, and Jeff Lynne would be playing tennis, you know. <laughs> Eric Idle would stop by to finish his beer and borrow a package of guitar strings. The headache came, came at this, at the end, towards the end of it. That really was the, ooh, we got this other song here that seems like it's gonna be good. So we better just like book a really nice studio <laughs> and stay another month. I peek to see if you were way back. It was sort of a hit, right? It was sort of a, a college radio hit. Was that sort of um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've never really written a hit. I just have write songs that occasionally one will kind of stick in the cultural fabric a bit on the dance floor or whatever. Not, not like the, the disco dance floor, but the indie rock kind of, you know, whatever. College dorm party rock, artsy fartsy. Have you heard the new cool song, like, uh, once in a while a song will stick and it'll just kind of be around. I thought about my space And I really got me down it Got me down I don't know what it's about, really. I suppose it's about having, uh, maybe ennui about the fabric of time, you know, the, 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 how big it is. And, and kind of well, wanting to be able to transcend it, you know, to be here, to be there, you know, but you can't except in a song or in your imagination or whatever, you know. I got me a headache. My heart is crammed in my cranium and it still knows how to bounce. I guess, you know, uh, for my solo records, that is the best known song probably, Headache, I would say. Mm -hmm. And then I guess my best known song from the Pixies repertoire would be Where Is My Mind. And it also has an existential kind of a question or something, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess you could, you could argue that maybe that's why uh, more people like those songs as opposed to other songs because uh, uh, one can relate, I suppose, to these basic kind of conflicts w within oneself. Or, you know. yeah. Maybe you can help me. And I can help you. It's a challenging song to sing. You know, in the middle of a tour or something, it can be hard to sing because it goes very high in my register. So if I'm ragged at all, um, I, I guess what I'm saying is, I guess I butchered the song a lot. In a way. In a way, I'm not butchered, but but that's okay. It kind of goes with the uh, the feeling of the song anyway. Even if you're not hitting the notes or it feels strained or something, you know, the the song has stress in it. It has strain in it. You know, I don't know what's going to happen today when I do it. So we'll just have to find out. I got me so down, got me a headache. 